it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for our sixth fight of the evening in advanced amateur rules. We've got Corey Vale taking on Garrett Dush. Let's take a look at our tale of the tape. We've got Garrett Dush, 27 years of age, a, a, a whopping six foot six inches tall, 170 pounds with an even record of four wins and four losses. He's taking on Corey Vale, 22 years of age, five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds with an even record, with an unbeaten record of four wins and zero losses. Right now we've got Corey Vale coming out. Corey Vale coming from New York, 22 years of age, five feet ten. Guys, I remember seeing him fight on a Gladiator show. Uh, yeah, I think it was in December. Absolutely. He was very impressive. Tough as nails, Corey Vale. His last fight was a win versus Tony DiPietro via first round submission in December of last year. That was it. Uh, he's currently undefeated. He has three wins via decision and one via submission. The submission obviously being his last fight in December. I remember being very impressed by his performance. This kid can fight. Absolutely. I, I can't wait to see what's gonna play out though. Corey Vale being five feet, 10 inches tall, taking on Garrett Dush, six foot six. I can't wait to see Garrett Dush here. Six foot six, 170 pounds. Corey Bale, really, really strong fighter. I remember his camp is on an Indian reservation. That's right, a Native American that reservation. Yes. Yeah, definitely a strong team, too. I'm not sure if they have any other guys on the card from that, that camp tonight, but I remember they had a good showing in the last event that he fought on. They did, well-rounded. Uh, he comes in with, you know, a Muay Thai-style trunk on, which can give people the impression that you know how to strike, but maybe not grapple. But uh, he had good wrestling and uh, good jujitsu, and he finished with a submission. Yeah, I mean, the good thing about those Muay Thai trunks is that they're really open, like a, a belt out at the bottom of the legs. They give you a lot of movement with your legs for kicks, but uh, I almost see that as being like a tactic, trying to get your opponent to think that you don't know how to grapple because you're wearing those Muay Thai trunks. Young guy, Corey Vale, 22 years of age. Let's have Dan Bogan call in Garrett Dush. Ladies and gentlemen, this next event is being contested under advanced amateur rules, and it is the Gladiators of the Cage Amateur Welterweight Championship of the World. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 168 pounds. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, 22 years of age, with a 4 and 0 record. He fights for the Flint Island Warrior MMA from the Tonawanda Indian Reservation in New York, from Arcade, New York, Corey Super Saiyan Vale. We need the red corner out now. Garrett Dush, Garrett Dush to the staging area. versus Derek Hayes in October of last year. He began his career fighting in Ohio as well, and I only point that out because the, the variation in rules of MMA. In Ohio, they start out fighting with what we know as the advanced amateur rules. So, I mean, Garrett Dush has been in the advanced amateur rules his whole career, doing ground and pound, uh, you know, kicks and knees, I believe, to the head. Certainly. And, uh... There is just, there is a lot of Garrett Dush. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he's not extremely scrawny either. I mean, you would think 6'6", 170. I, I can't imagine what his weight cut must be like. I, I couldn't, uh, 80, 90 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> he has a leg surgically removed for the weigh-in and reattached afterwards. 
I, I was expecting a, a string bean, a, you know, a, a guy who was uh, desiccated, if you will. Um, yeah, absolutely. But, I mean, I, 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 I have no doubt that Corey Vale is ready for this. You know, Corey Vale is a, a performer. He's a very good fighter. He's very smart. Sure, and, and I think, I mean, Corey Vale is power, more, a little more powerfully built. He's a little more compact. And 69 pounds under the right corner. He stands 6 feet 5 inches tall. He is 27 years of age with a 4-4 four four record. He fights for Clarion MMA and Team Nowhere MMA from Clarion, Pennsylvania. Garrett Dush! Ladies and gentlemen, this is Real Bacon. Glad he is in the cage. Amateur waterweight championship. Three, three minute rounds. Your referee, Bill Bookwalter. All right, you want to touch? Okay, touch now if you want. Okay, touch now if you want. When the bell rings, you're live. Okay, there you go. All the way back to the corner. Okay. Okay, buddy, you ready? Buddy, you ready? Fight! Round one underway. Garrett Dush taking on Corey Vale. Wow! Wow! That is exactly what Corey Vale needed to happen. Kick the legs out of Garrett Dush right off the bat. Just came right under with that tie kick. Um, whether it was great timing or good luck, he he knocked um, knocked Dush right on his tush, on his patoot. In so far, I mean that. That is exactly what Corey Vale wants to happen. I mean, he's got Dush down on his back and he's passing the side control already, possibly getting knee on the belly, it looked like for a second. It looks like he's trying to pass the mount here. I mean, that's exactly what he needs to happen. I, if I were Corey Vale right now, I would be looking for mount and I would be looking to pound him out. I mean, Garrett Dush is a really, really big guy. He needs to stay away from the guard of Dush. Yeah, he doesn't want to be in, and here, here he is. Boom out, Stand trying here. to rain Stand down here. the punches. Stay on his ears. Dush is doing a good job with his double underhooks, keeping Vale's posture low, not able to sit up and really unleash some punches. But, I mean, we're, you know, one minute into the first round of a three-minute, three-round fight. Possible Dush arm bar. Arm oh. bar by Vale. I think he might. Oh, wow. wow. Now Dush able to spin out. Beautiful nice, spin out by Nice Dush. escape. And now Dush is on top. Dush showing his stuff, showing that he belongs here in this fight with, with Vale. Wow. Very athletic and good movement good, by Dush. Good slam there by Vale. I mean, Vale's got a lot of legs to grab onto whenever he wants to get that double to double leg takedown. And I would think he, he's probably going to want to keep this on the ground, stay close, stay stuck. I, I would to have Dush. to agree. You know, stand up, he might he might just get outranged. Dush lacing his toes into the fence. If I were Vale, I'd punch that. You, you would be allowed to punch that, and that would hurt really bad. I've always thought that would happen eventually. Somebody's going to stick their toes in the fence, and somebody's going to punch it and rip their toes off their foot. And then the next day, it, no it one be. would ever do it again. Lots of spine, lots of spine. It would be banned immediately after that. Oh, yeah. But nice slow time jujitsu by Corey Vale. I like how he's slowing the pace down a little bit, getting a good position. Wow, and Dush about to pull Dush, back to, to guard. I think uh, he's got half here. Such long legs. I mean, he's got the half, but he's still walking on, on the cage with his feet. Watch the back of the head. Watch the back of the head. Vale having a hard time finding a place to punch that isn't the back of the head. Uh, Which is a, a testament to what Dush is doing right now. That's, yeah. that's by design, I would say. It is. He, he's hiding the, the legal target area. I would look for Dush to possibly go to deep half guard. I mean, he's got double underhooks. Yeah, there's there's just not enough time now. Time, time, time. Uh, round, round one underway. I would have to give that to Vale, but that was a lot of scrambling. It, it was, but I think it's it's easily Vale. Vale dominated from the top position, had Absolutely. the takedowns. Um, you know, the best thing I could say is Dush had a fantastic escape from an armbar, but uh, but I'd rather be the guy attempting the armbar than the guy escaping. Oh, 100%. I mean, the, the, the thing about this fight right now is it could change at any second. With, with the length of Dush, I mean, he could just figure out a way to pull off a really good submission. I would say maybe a triangle would be in, in the works for, for Dush. Sure. Um, but Vale, know. I mean, Vale's, he's, he's taming it, you know, he's... 
he's taming the long limbs of uh, of Dush. Yeah, I, I think he he has very good jujitsu, and he's sort of tying tying Dush up and, and kind of making his long limbs work against him. Absolutely. Underway, Garrett Dush in the red corner, taking on Corey Vale in the blue. Let's see how how uh, Vale is going to attack Dush. If, what Dush is planning on doing? I would expect some kicks by Dush. I would think Dush actually might want to. Wow! He got wow! Wow! wow. Look at the taking advantage of that knockdown as Vale. Dush is holding Dush on. Dush is trying. Oh Dush is God. not done here. Dush is going for a leg lock. Wow. What a, a This is an insane 20 seconds of action. Oh my god. Going for the knee bar is Dush. There he is. He is on it right now. He has it. Oh my it. god. It's it's in. He might be able to finish this. What? I oh, it just just twisted sideways. If they were allowed to heel hook, that would be it. He, he probably would have gotten that. Dush might still be a little bit dazed from the knockdown. I mean, Vale cracked him with an overhand. Cracked him. I, I am shocked that he was able to keep the presence of mind and recover quickly enough from that bad yeah, strike. I, kudos to our referee for this bout. I mean, he really made a judgment call on whether or not to stop that. And, and I think he made the right one. I do think so. Vale is just living in Mount Lake. Now He's still intelligently defending himself. I don't know. Yes, well, yeah, he's turning, so that's a good sign. Gush is so big that Vail is That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. What a performance by Corey Vail. My jaw's on the floor right now, Mike. Stay, stay, stay. That is uh, right there, another guy who is probably going to be turning pro soon. And it looks like Vale injured his leg during that fight. I mean, it all started with the knockdown by Vale. He had to reach really high to land that punch. I hope we can get a look at the instant replay of that shot. Wow. There you have it, Corey Vale, 170 pound champion for Gladiators of the Cage. Taking some hardware back to New York with him. Sure. and. And honestly, I think he's a guy, if he turns pro, he'd probably cut to 55. I would and say there so. he would be very impressively large. I mean, he just showed that the size doesn't matter to him. He, he can do it. He can do it hard. You can tell the pedigree of a camp, I think, whenever you have a fighter that wins spectacularly like this, and the coach still looks kind of bored. I mean, there was... Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of cheering. You just he expected that to happen, and that's that's something. You know that um that punch was great. I hope I, I hope we can see and that. And I hope that's some, what we're gonna get for uh, the replay coming up. Because that that was the beginning of it all. Cut and Run Studios killing it. There we see Corey Vale. There it is. Wow! Wow! I mean, that's what we, that's a textbook slip and rip. Ducked the opponent's punch and just winged one out himself. He got 100% of that. And look how, how smart, how immediately he, he pulls, he, he swarms the opponent and gets right into full mount. He got into mount really fast and uh, just was unloading. Let's send it over to our ring announcer, Dan Bogan, for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the end came at one minute and 37 seconds of round two via the rear naked choke for your winner and new gladiators of the cage, the amateur welterweight champion of the world, fighting out of the blue corner, Corey Super Saiyan Vale. I have first one question to the fans. Who came here tonight to see Corey Vell crowned the new 170 pound champion? 
Great performance, Corey. Absolutely stellar. You controlled the fight the whole way through. You got out of a couple tough spots. It looked like that knee bar was tight. You persevered. How great does it feel? It feels amazing, but first off, I want to say I dedicate this fight to Kevin Rozier. He was the original, the number one UFC. He died a couple months. So this is for you, Kevin. Love you. I want to I wanna thank the Spa, Spa Academy down in South Carolina for helping me get ready. Alex and Sabrina for letting me stay down at their house. And my bad. And John for giving me a job at Gold's Gym. Well, an absolutely stellar performance. You're now 5-0, and and you're the 170-pound Gladiators of the Cage champion. Let's hear it for Corey Vale. Feels great. Well, there you have it, folks. Corey Vale moving on to an unbeaten 5-0 and and taking home the belt. Very, very impressive performance. Really impressive. Um, that guy is, you know, what you would call in baseball, uh, a five-tool player. Coming up next, we've got Steve Mowry taking on Chris Araujo in a heavyweight bout. But first, a word from our sponsors. Jack's Yamaha in Tarentum, 724-226-3727. Badass Pads, the new reusable motorcycle seat. Badass Pads use pressure-sensitive sticky gel to ensure no scratches, rings, or dents. Badass Pads also feature a gel and memory foam insert for maximum comfort. Application is easy. Simply remove the protective plastic and place on a clean, dry fender or rider seat. When done, replace the plastic and store for the next ride. Get your Badass Pad today. Available in three sizes at BadassPads.com.